Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles and in this video, I wanted to show you guys really quickly how we can go ahead and actually get a couple of joystick buttons to work. Um, I don't know if you've had this issue, but I had this issue where I wanted the triggers on the back of the Xbox controller to actually work. Um, I'm currently in the uh, 3D platformer series. I'm trying to use the left trigger to run um, and I currently have the right trigger to doing nothing, but you can have that set up however you like. So I'm going to show you guys very quickly. It's super easy to do. I made two uh, game creator triggers um, and put them in the uh, game creator hub so you can download those. So I'll have a link in the description below. So let me go ahead and just walk you through what's needed to set this up. And actually, let me just go ahead and show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. All right, so I hit play and in our scene, we don't have anything in this scene. All I have is a main camera, really a directional light, a floor, and the actual example object that has the two triggers so that this could work, okay? And so what I'm gonna do, the first thing you wanna do is head over to your project settings. So we're gonna go to edit and you would just go to project settings and I have it on my other monitor here, so I'll bring that over. And inside your project, settings um, you're going to have some things set up here so the first thing you would want to set up is the names for these particular uh, inputs so the first one for the triggers it's going to be the third axis trig and i want you to name it exactly like this because i think the script that i wrote um, uses these these everything is kind of connected so i don't have it set up to where you can change the variables or anything like that um, so and then um, go down and then you want to make sure the type is joystick axis axes is going to be third and then you can kind of play around with your gravity your depth space here and your sensitivity so you can play with that so the next thing you want to do is also set up the d-pad and so this is going to be the d-pad horizontal so left and right and so you want to name it exactly like i have it listed here and then also here for the type joystick axis six axes here for joysticks right all right and then of course for vertical i have this here and you want to do d-pad v and do it exactly like this as well and then this one's going to be the seventh axis all right great so the next thing you're going to need for all this to work is you want to head over to tools or actually game creator and then preferences and then you want to pull up your variables now i have a bunch of variables here uh, for the 3D platform I'm working on. Um, however, um, these are the three variables you would need to create. And so to do that, you would just type in the name here and you wanna make sure the name is exactly like this. And they should replicate literally the same name that we have in our input manager, okay? All right, so you wanna do D-pad H for horizontal, D-pad V for vertical and third axis for the triggers in the back, all right? And so here you want to go ahead and do number for the type and for each one of those. And then these little green here, um, all of that is is some tags that I'm using. And so that's really useful. So that's what I have here. So you can use that if you want. That's completely optional. All right. So once you have this set up, uh, the only thing you need to do now is head over to the, uh, the game creator hub. All right. All right, so the Game Creator Hub is here. Um, if This is, um, I guess, my profile look, I guess, here. And it has a bunch of other, uh, I guess, uh, objects that I've created, different triggers or buttons or things to do with Game Creator. But the two that you want to download are going to be the Joystick Trigger Third Axis and, of course, the Joystick Trigger D-Pad. All right, and so to search, you would just go to search, and then you would just type in joy and immediately that's pretty much the only thing it looks like that's there under that um, under that tag joy or joystick or anything like that great so you want to download those once you download those I'm gonna go ahead and move these out the way here just for a moment once you download those all you would really need to do in this case I have an example object this object all it does is have two triggers assigned to it and that's it. That's all you have to do is make sure that those triggers are in the scene. So if you're using a player, you would simply attach this trigger to your player. 
And so that player would then have those built into their um, into whatever scene that they're in, then these triggers will follow suit. So just to put that in perspective, um, I have that on my on my player here. He's not in the scene. I have him uh, turned off completely because I have it doesn't it's not necessary for this example. But just to show you, I think I have it for my run. So really all I need to do is you can see here is the button joy script and it's literally the same joystick third axis that I'm using for that. All right, great. All right, so just to see it working, once you have everything set up that I showed you and you have the example, you just assign a trigger and then when you go to trigger, you go change trigger. And if you type in trig, you'll see trigger third axis. If I think if you even type in joy, you'll even get it that way. So you can get joystick there and you would just assign those as needed. Okay, I'm gonna remove this one. I'm in play mode, so actually it doesn't matter. All right, great. So to see that working, I'm just gonna show you here. So I'm gonna click in my scene. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my gamepad. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on the left trigger. So if you look at the left trigger, we have zero and then it's negative one, okay? So that's what the left trigger value will be. It'll be anything from zero to negative one. And if I do the right trigger, you probably already guessed it, it's zero to positive one, okay? So you can imagine if you were trying to do this for say some type of mechanic or any type of thing in the game, and you're using Game Creator of course, and you decide you want to execute something, what you would want to do is have a variable change. So you could say you can use a trigger that initially says on variable change and then on variable change, you would have an action or you would have a condition. And so then inside that condition, then you would have something along the lines of um, if this variable third axis trig is zero or greater than right, then do actions right and that's how you can go about it and I think that's how I have my run set up and so you can do that for either the left or the right fair enough cool all right and so we can also take a look at the d-pad so if I go with the d-pad I'm going to go horizontal left and you see it's either zero or one and it doesn't there is no float values between zero one it's either zero or negative one and if you go to the right it's going to be zero or one and that's on the horizontal but if we do the vertical we go zero up is negative one and then down is positive one or just one right all right and that's pretty much it and you would use these variables in the same way and you can probably use this in a bunch of ways i can't even can't even imagine that you would utilize these type of things but it's there to use and hopefully that is beneficial to you guys so anyway i didn't want this video to go too long this is actually pretty simple um and um that's pretty much it for that like i said before um for my trigger run as you can see here on my player i have a run and i say on variable change then i have a condition and then that condition checks for a variable here and so i'll leave that up to you on how you utilize that but I just wanted to make sure that you guys um, had something to play with. There may be other ways to go about this, but I found that this was a good quick fix for me. And it also allowed me to, of course, continue to play with making triggers or just playing with game creator related things. So again, go to the hub and pick that up, put that in your project, and I would love to see what you guys are doing. So with that said, that's pretty much it for this video as always. I know making games is tiresome sometimes and things don't always work. Um, your first game is not going to be your best game, but guess what? There's something that you're going to finish. And um, that's my goal is hopefully anything that I'm talking about is going to help you guys get further in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. I love to see you guys' stories and um, I hope one day that I can show you guys my stories. But always remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.